Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue Luru. Today I'm going to be talking about some palette designs that I made up and I just thought it would be fun to share. So I actually made these quite a long time ago and I have I believe four palettes that I designed. I'm looking at them right now. So we're going to alternate. I'm going to start off with the Prue La Rue palette. So I, I think I'll just insert a picture of it. It's going to be much easier. But in the Prue La Rue palette, it's a palette designed on My Life. And I don't think the colours particularly make 100% sense. They definitely... Uh, I think, you know, it's a palette that could work. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this and it's sort of based off colours that I like together in a palette and that I would love to play with. So the first one is Adelaide. This would be a duochrome silver purple. Uh, Adelaide is my hometown and it's got a special place in my heart and yes. Coming on is Heart. That's a light pink shade. I really love those pinky shades for the crease and everything. Moving in is a purple and this is Kitty Cat. This is after my sister. A really dark purple that you could blend the crease out, do the do you transition with. Or maybe it's a shimmer, I don't know. Aries to me is, it's a mustard yellow. And I just love those. I love a mustard yellow in the crease. Um, blend it out with a bit of shimmer. I think they're really pretty looks. Brisbane is a yellow. Brisbane is where I currently live and that's what that one's based off. So Aries is my star sign. Green is Believe and to me this would be that green shimmer from the Jeffree Star Alien palette that wasn't out when I created this like little mock-up and it is a bright green <laughs> and to me Believe is just saying to believe in yourself. The blue is Wendy Lou and this represents my mum. To me blue is just a reliable colour and it's a beautiful rely reliability to it and yeah that, that's my mum. <laughs> And Soul, I think I was feeling a bit uh, iffy when I made this, but Soul is like the deep, dark depths and perfect to blend any of these colours out. I had a lot of fun coming up with this palette and I hope you, you know, I hope it intrigues, interests you. And then my second palette I shall show you is based on my job. This is the Bypass palette. So in my career I've worked around a lot of cardiac bypass patients and this is when people have had cardiac surgery post a heart attack or they've gone in and had a look and there's a few blockages they need to fix. So the first one is Atrium and this is a nice matte white. This is the colour of the chest drains that they put in <laughs> post surgery to drain out any extra blood. DBNC is actually deep breathing and coughing. When you've come out of cardiac surgery we encourage you to do your deep breathing and coughing exercises very consistently and it is a light cream color the color of sputum. ETAD if you're intubated or have a breathing tube in for an extended period of time we put these big things that go over your face they <laughs> are called endotracheal attachment devices and this is the color that they are. <laughs> like, um, it's, it's probably like it's that a bit of a darker mustardy yellow the next colour is wired and this is a silver. Uh, this represents the wires that they used to seal up your sternum post-surgery and it is a beautiful silver. Distal is brown and distal means furthest from. So on a post-cardiac surgery you tend to have a central line in your internal jugular. The distal lumen is the one that we monitor your central venous pressure on which is the right filling pressure of the atrium essentially how much fluid you have on board. The distal lumen is the one that's closest to the heart and furthest from outside and in the brand that we use they are brown. Sterile. I find that most sterile packs were, um, that I've seen are a bright blue and so this is just a blue to match. A bright red and this one's called reopen 
Uh, sometimes post-surgery you might have a lot of bleeding and they can't fix it so they have to cut you back open and fix up the bleeding and uh, this is to represent that fresh blood that spurts out. Spore, this is a darker, older colour of red or blood and spore stands, stands for the surgical post-op roll. Uh, so post-surgery, post -surgery, once you've been out for a little while, we'll tip you one way or the other and see if some extra blood tips out and sometimes it, it's usually not fresh blood <laughs> it's tough but it's been there a while so yeah this sounds so weird saying it all out like this so yeah so this is the bypass palette this is actually a palette I'd love to make this is just yeah what I would love to do with it is to make it and then also attach an explanation of everything that goes with it but I don't know, maybe it's like a silly idea. It's a very like nursing, it's very nursing. Next up, and I'm just gonna write it, this is the Prularoo New Year's Eve palette. This is a bit of a rainbow palette, one that you could use. It's got the orange and the blues and that green. I'm obsessed with that green. I just keep adding that to everything. But this is about the things that I want 2019 to be all about. And I just thought it'd be a fun one to add in. So first up we have a duochrome blue silver and it's called Jim. I don't know, the silver colour, silver and blue just made me think of the gym. But I want to commit to going to the gym more regularly. Green, uh, I think it makes me think of grass and outside and just being certain, like with friends. I want to try and spend more time with friends or make some friends. <laughs> Ocean. It's like more of a dark blue green. I used to spend a lot of time just hanging out by the ocean and pondering life. And yeah, to me, this is about looking beyond the horizon. This bright blue is for blue skies. So I hope to spend more time outside and just enjoying life. Green is for greens. And this is, I'm going to increase my vegetable intake. <laughs> um... And then on to the second row. So Shine is a topper shade and it's a sort of a very light gold or white with no real base to it. And I just, I hope the next year shines, really. Yellow, Sun, it's the same concept as the blue skies, just being outside, enjoying life. And the orange shade, it just made me think of hugs. That's what I like, yeah. And I'm not a touchy-feely person, but what I hope is that I'm surrounded by more people than I love. Moving on to red, love. That's, it ties into exactly what I said. And let's fix my life. <laughs> and that's the black shade, because black really can fix any eye look. And the final fourth palette. Now this is going back to the nursing theme, and this is, this is more gross. For people but I actually spent time and researched the colors of the cells of each of these so an eight pan palette and this one is the infectious palette it represents infectious diseases so first up we've got yellow um this would be I think this is gonna be that mustard yellow I'm just I'm in love with mustard yellow and IVAB stands for intravenous antibiotics Sometimes when you have an infectious disease, you need antibiotics. PPE stands for personal protective equipment. And depending on the infection, sometimes uh, the big old jackets are that yellow. So this is gonna be a really bright yellow and it will just m make your eyelids shine. VRE, now this is a purple red or a maroon, I guess. And this stands for vancomycin resistant enzyme. This is one of the superbugs and it means that it is resist resistant to vancomycin. To treat it you need lincomycin. Beautiful and brown is C. diff and C. diffilis is an infection of the gut which makes you poo a lot. I'm just, I'll let you google it if you want more. Um, MRSA is multi-resistant staph aureus. This is the superbug pre-VRE and it's resistant to a lot of different things. Usually vancomycin will kill it. And this is a beautiful purple. I'm just, I love this shade. Influenza or flu 
is bright blue. This definitely doesn't show how deadly it can be, uh, but it is very pretty. This bright blue would look stunning on most people. I think maybe as a shimmer, but it's very important to get your flu vaccination. It has the potential to, depending on yeah, I've seen the flu knock out very young people and it is very important to be vaccinated. Please. Please, please, vaccinate yourself. Um, unless for some reason you cannot, but you know, you know. Gloved up is the silver. We use latex free gloves where I work. So this is to represent those. And it would also be maybe a sparkly silver for that inner corner. And yeah, necrotic is the black. And like I said in the last one, black really just fixes everything. So unfortunately though, when something is necrotic, that means that the flesh has died completely and it's black. You will see this in wounds and it's a sign of quite a lot of decay. Usually it smells a fair bit. Um, it can be, well, you sort of end up having to remove the area and then the healthy tissue can survive. Anyway, that is four palettes that I designed. I really hope that wasn't too gross for you and I absolutely love and adore you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mwah.